Hi everybody, so on the holidays I was drawing and look at the paintings of Van Gogh, Malevich and uh, Miro. And I found this book, Impressionism and 13 Artists that Children Should Know. So we're going to read about the first artist in this book, Edouard Monet. Born in January 23, 1832 in Paris. That's about 200 years ago. Died in April 30, 1883 in Paris. So he still was in Paris. Manet was bad at school pupil. That's why he wanted to become a naval officer at age of 16 and then travel by a ship for half a year to South America. During Manet's lifetime, his hometown of Paris changed a great deal. Many of the old buildings and streets were replaced by new boulevards and attractive buildings. People enjoyed their free time at new cafes and bars. Manet sought to capture his modern lifestyle. He was the, of the opinion, you have to live and paint as you see. And that's why he painted his friends, for example, in a big open air cafe where a huge number of people were spending a fine afternoon. Surprisingly, this picture got some extremely upset, some people extremely upset. They believe ch such scents should never be dissipated in art. Manette, however, they should. What Manet aimed to avoid was paintings in ordinary fashion where barely a brush stroke could be seen in the in those days artists used to paint in a studio even with very even light the pictures they produced often showed all the figures in clearly defined and well-lit way outside in the cafes however the light was totally different it was bright in some places and dark in the other places. Not every person could be easily recognized. This explains why Manet did not paint each person in exactly the same manner. Some of the f his figures appear hazy. And if you look at them from quite close up, you see that they were painted with only dubs of color. When you are in a cafe yourself, you too won't be able to spot every person there. And that's how Manet wanted to paint, showing simply what his eyes perceived. Edouard Manet, Music in Tolerius Garden, 1862, National Gallery in London. So to see the, this picture over here, uh, you have to go to a National Gallery in London. When you are in a cafe yourself, you too will... Um, many of Manet's friends have been seeing this painting, such as Jacques Aubenbach, the famous composer. Manet, too, can be seen in the far left corner. So let, let me show you where Manet is. This is Manet. And my bed is right over here. Next page. Edouard Manet, Bunch of Apragasses. 18 Warfa Richards Museum, Cologne. So if you want to see this picture, you have to go to Cologne in the, in the Warfa Richards Museum. In 1880, Manet painted a lifestyle of a bunch of upgrass stems. This picture was not orderly and exact, and though you recognize it, the thick bush strokes, the upgrass stems still look good enough to eat. Manet was not permitted to show his art in important exhibitions because so many people got upset with, at his style. This Criticism definitely annoyed him, but he still stood by his modern way of painting. Manette's friends 
most of the Impressionisms, but he never exhibited with them. They admitted him because he went against the rules and painted just as true. Manette's daring attitude about art encouraged younger painters to try their own ideas. Edouard Manet, Apograssus, 1880, Musée d'Orsay, Paris, still lives often seem a bit boring, but the single Apragasis stamp is really quite charming. This is the first picture I showed you, and this is the second one as I just now told you about Paris in the museum. So, tomorrow uh, we're gonna read about Claude, Claude Monet and um, hope you enjoyed the, about um, Edouard Monet. So see you soon. Bye.